Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Thousand Week Ranking, which we're playing as, well, everyone's favorite Adolf, Adolf H. But, um, if you'd like to read about Swabian Knights, please go right ahead, I want to hear more, of course, and then, the crisis of 48, oh boy, Von Trusco shall be remembered like, like Judas and Bolsheviks. Oh, Judas? No, that's not Judas, but that's something else, but whatever. If you'd like to read about the status of the Reich, please go right ahead, I've read that before, I'm more than certain how you have, but... We've got things to do, and uh, <clears throat> certain people to get elected, and a scheme in Hungary. This is something I have not read yet before, though. Over the years, the Kingdom of Hungary has become increasingly paranoid of the German presence in the nation's affairs as a countermeasure. The Volksbund and our friends Anton Bosch has designed a cutting plan. With the Schutzstaff uh, approval, the upcoming German rally in Hungary shall turn into a radical march with S. <clears throat> S. Funding demonstrating the consequences of defying German interests. Hopefully this plan will be a firm warning for the Holthe regime and solidify Germany's influence. A slight gentle nudge, my friends, in which we're going to do uh, S. <clears throat> S. Rivalries. If you'd like to read about a greater feature, please go ahead. Uh, actually, we'll read about this one in a little bit. If you'd like to read about falling economy, please go ahead as well. Just because I know I've done this one before. So, there you go. If you'd like to read that. Ein Tausend Jahre. Polish terrorist attack. If you read about that, please go ahead. A lot of these I've read before, so I will give you the option if you'd like to read it yourself. So, we have Vonta Funk. And if you want to read about Southern Poland Operation, there you go. Uh, von Ribbentrop, as well as Martin Daddy Bowman. God, here's your organization. Oh, so bad. Also, the one option we do have here is I want to get more uh, stability, which would be good. But funding Hungarian rebels as friendship between Italy and Germany broke down. Both sides have set their sights on uncertain regimes down south, transforming the Balkans into a political battlefield. Why not? Why not? And then internal politics. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. And German economy. The economy first. Followed up with, actually, can we do this one? Complete internal politics. Cool. Few could have expected a rivalry to develop in one of the most powerful organizations in the Reich. But strange times make for equally strange occurrences, it seems. Naturally, the two opposing sides have coalesced between Hadrish, the Reich's commissar of Gottenland, who favors his own motto for SS's uh, functions, which has served him swimmingly in pacifying the region for um, Aryan. Settlement and, of course, Heinrich Daddy Himmler, the current Reich's daddy, whose doctrines have served him adequately thus far. Each man has fiercely entrenched himself in his own visions for how the SS should function going forward. And it's becoming clear that only one shall prove to come out on top, ultimately, however. It is a decision of the big daddy, the big Fuhrer, to give the ultimate favor of out of both men. Ah, uh, goodbye, Vonta Funk. And right now, um, I do want to do this one, but I would like for us to get to at least an early mobilization just because... Oh, she has a meeting. Uh, I want to build more stuff, get some more fuel, because we're spending a lot of fuel. But if you want to read about Speer's meeting, please go right ahead. The economy's in shambles. Nah, Speer is starting to forget his place. Uh, a successful Oppo operation. Very good, very good. Good work, Oppo. Good job. Thumbs up from us. Ah, screw, we're going to get more stability anyways right now. Fake media campaign, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. A success. As always, the German Reich has always been successful. Do not pay attention to the failures of it. And the Hungarians denounce German agents. Curses. Oh, well, French labor strike. We're not interested in French labor strikes, I'll be honest. Yeah, definitely not. Cool. All right, and I usually like getting a lot of this stuff done, but actually, at the time of this recording, I've been very interested in getting some more SP artillery because it's just so much soft attack. And economic reform plans. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Please, let's see. Uh, I love playing as Joseph Goebbels. He's just so much fun. His, his smile, just it just gets to me sometimes. It just... It gets to me. Uh, where is it? New Ordnung? Ah, oh, it's over here. No, it's over here. No, oh, it's over here. Ah, yes. A plan submitted. Ah, look at him. Ah, ah, he's rising. Ah, bald man. Oh, you're gonna lose your hair, man. Fat man. And reformer. <laughs> he's no influence. But, you know what? If you want to read about this one, please go ahead. I've oh, I've gone down with Speer before. I've gone down with the People's Plan before, I think. I think I've done Goring's Plan as well, but we're gonna burn the paper. Something I've never done before. Early mobilization, followed up with a favor of Himmler. As the bickering winds down, it seems that Himmler, the long-expected choice, has won the favor of the Fuhrer. A man committed to his own ideals of SS's functions, which have served him valiantly during his time in office, has trumped Hedrich's own visions, which are largely uncertain anyways, as they'd been only seen on such a very small scale. Who's to say that they wouldn't crack under much larger pressure? Himmler certainly wouldn't. Tried and true methods went out in the end over those who had only had trial run. <coughs> That isn't to say Himmler has some fresh plans of his own, but he also has the most important factor. Patience. Actually, anything here? Alright, let's find more radicals. I love radicals. A quizzing skull, I'm going to read about that, please go ahead. I'm not really sure which we want to do. Uh, so, but Goebbels suggests that Germany should play along. Britannia allow the Norwegian reforms to occur and then take control when the time is right. I want more political power. 
the Norwegian Thaw. And atomic testing, if you want to put that, please go ahead. Ah, I love the war support. But now, we just need 100 more political power to get more parts from mobilization. And Himmler's vision. The Reich's daddy's vision for the SS is one of unwavering honor to national socialism, loyalty, and integration of true Aryan history and sciences within society. It was Himmler's own words that said, My honor is my loyalty, and such words must be followed by every proud son of Germany that wishes to enroll in the Schutzstaffel. It's not entirely untrue, then, to say that such policies should not only be intensely practiced by our organization, but all citizens of the Reich. After all, is it not that what the party teaches us? It should be only natural that we fully commit to, to, our, to ourselves to it. We must craft a new vision for ourselves. Let us read upon the old mytho mythology of the Norse and pagan gods, who were the true Aryans, millennia before we recognize such. Let us throw out the antiquated sciences that still smell of degeneracy and archaic notions for German people. Every aspect of society should reflect as much. <laughs> ah, the assassination of Helmut Bischoff. Ah, unfortunate. Well, done. Hey, we're about the opening of Theodore Morrow Hospital. Should have sent Bischoff there. A symbol of German welfare. Nice. A terrorist attack. Ah, shit. Don the poles. Oh, not Mangle. No. And the they tested hydrogen bomb, huh? <coughs> so be it. So we got some improved shells. Free French in Africa. Um, Flak Panthers are okay. I'm not doing anything else here yet. I don't know which, where we're going to go, so we're going to wait on that stuff. Let's grab some industry. Industry is pretty important. Heroes Dave, you want to hear about that? Please go ahead. Glory to the heroes. Yay. They tested an atomic bomb too. Oh, good for them. Oh, no, we don't get any more weakness ability. Norwegian Revolution? Oh, no. No Norwegian Revolt. Oh, if you worry about that, please go right ahead. Uh, ignore Norway. This can be used as... We'll invade Norway eventually. Ah! Yeah, normally Adolf Hitler would undoubtedly launch a war against such crimes. A sick man's mind is simply too weak to make the decision. And considering his personal relations with some of the high command, Hitler decides to do what? Well, I mean... <sighs> with Himmler, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to say we're going to invade him eventually. Now, that might be bad to say, but... Oh, we got a... Oh, look at that. Ge Karl Gebhard incident. Oh, boy. The bad word. Overseeing Burgundy region. But actually, let's go ahead and go to partial mobilization first. Yes, yes. Build, build. Oh, I have tungsten issues, huh? Uh, let's go to Malaya. We'll go to... And get a little more fuel. Uh, from the Rexus Commissar Calcus. Yes. Glamour well, feel, actually. <laughs> Overseeing Burgundy regions. The region of Burgundy is one of the most utmost important, important to the Reich. It's the first line of defense in, against a possible accord invasion from France or even a counterattack from Paris themselves. And they somehow were to arrest themselves upon our firm grip. Along such practical purposes for its safeguarding, there also exists rich cultural and historical reasons for doing so. The most strong proponent for the fierce protection of Burgundy has been none other than the Reichsfeer himself, who described Burgundy as an ancient economic and cultural center, which now is in the present lies forgotten. Reduced to merely an appendage of France known for its splendid wine production? Ha! Ah, I ah, love it. The Burgundians, after all, were a Germanic tribe, thus immediately rendering, the, um, re rendering them Aryan. It'd be foolish not to preserve an important part of the Reich, both strategically and historically. And now Croatia requests military shipments. <coughs> Our former allies in the independent state of Croatia has requested our help in their latest campaign against the commie, commie partisans that run rife throughout the nation. While the interests undoubtedly align with ours, our high command stresses that give aid to subhuman Slavs while the Reich teeters on the brink of disaster may weaken Germany further. The decision, however, ultimately rests with the Fuhrer and his plans for the Balkans. Who cares about Croatia? No one cares about Croatia. But we're going to get some more funding here, too, because we can. Nice. The Big Daddy's 63rd birthday. Um, if you want about that, please go ahead. If you're wondering about Frau and Schicksal, please go ahead. As well as Big Daddy's 63rd birthday. Heil Hitler. On Hans Frank, so press the news. Oh, that's not bueno. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Excuse me. I have not seen this much stuff get done all at the same time in quite a while. Cool. Come over here. Description and anything for guns. Oh, yeah. Endless vision. Oh, shady dealings. Oh, boy. Himmler, Hitler just trusts Himmler deeply. It is only reasonable that our big daddy would put more of his trust in Himmler than any other man. Besides, Himmler might just be the person that solves the problem of SS and fighting once and for all. Himmler, yes, Herr Himmler, resolve the SS problem. Factionalism within the Reich's most important organization cannot stand any longer. If we become bogged down by trivialities, the hordes of degeneracy and Judeo-Bolshevism will scratch at us like, until it uh, eat us alive. 
Now is the time to act. It is utterly ridiculous, no downright treasonous even, to continue to undermine the core functions and regular operations of the SS2 to the point where progress on various projects slow to a crawl. Divisions is, are like a cancer, and to fully destroy it we must cut it from its very core efficiency from within our organization, and assuming the business as usual is it is the most imperative issue we face now that we stand ready. It's time to resolve this issue once and for all by Hitler's reassurances. Seeing the panic arising arising panic within the German population, the fear has made a public appearance in an attempt to ease the tension. Hitler stated clearly that these incidents are events caused by the evil acts of Judaism and Bolsheviks, reassuring the crowd that everything is well within the Reich's leadership. While the party of Germany might still feel at ease, the ones within the party are still fearing, fearing that they could be the next target of some unknown agenda motivated killings. Sieg? How? Uh, made it, yay! Thank you, workers. Bolshevik sex. God dang it. Ah, uh, the polls. If you wonder about the EFC, please go right ahead. European Football Cup is 52. And uh, conspiracy has been crushed. Something or someone is planning something. Yes, they are. And we're going to have to root them out. Alright, some dude was elected. Death of... A health of the fear. If you wonder about that, please go right ahead. I said death, huh? Yeah. The fear is nothing out of the norm. Nothing's wrong with him. And anyone who says otherwise is wrong. I don't mind getting some more construction speed here. Yeah, oh, that's so good. 50% is pretty darn good. Yeah. This is not bad either. <coughs> but build, build, build. Yeah, SS infighting is pretty bad. But if we get rid of that, that would be really good. Actually, I should say political power, because we'll get rid of uh, SS infighting. And then we'll have more political power to spend. Oh, Spain? That sucks. Burgundy expectations. While Adolf Hitler would never let Himmler have his own chunk of land in which Himmler could run wild, Hitler can raise Himmler's loyalty by letting Himmler oversee the construction projects and improvements of the Bulgarian regions annexed from France, perhaps creating an illusion that Himmler would achieve his dream after all. To Burgundy, my friends, to Burgundy. Alright, so we need quite a bit, few more of this stuff, so. Nice. Ah, Benazio too. I think they're a puppet too, so that's pretty good. Um, we just need more civvies. We need more factories, man. Oh boy. No clear win in the UK. Is it a hung parliament? Civil unrest in Bulgaria. Oh no, that sounds terrible. Hey, Evan Rommel, how are you doing? Here, being an offensive guy. China denounces Vietnam. Well, no one saw that one coming, I bet. Hungarian radicals. I love the radicals. Fanta, if you're worried about Fanta, please go right ahead. It's better than cola. You look like you're old, man. Anti German military. Parliamentary influence rising. Refugee crisis. SS infighting resolved. <clears throat> Left wins in Korea. For now, <clears throat> the intervention of Hitler and his wise words, the SS situation has been resolved peacefully. And with the SS no longer threatening to tear Germany apart, Hitler can now focus on other things that need to be done. Sehr gut. Um, handling the political situation, business as usual, spying the inner program. Um, hmm. Alstreffen? Matters of the Eastern War, reform the military, live and drum question. NSDAP reforms. Uh, let's handle the political situation. If you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. I think I've read about this one before, but questions of the old guard. Let's see what happens. I don't think it really matters for us since we want to get Himmler anyways, but still. It was good to do. So now we get over to Political Power Day. That's really nice. No kickstart biochemical research. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Fine elected. I read this one. Questions, question of the old guard. Space project planned. If you want to read that, please go right ahead. Yay. What could possibly go wrong? Party politics. The structure of the NSDAP and the German government has been needing some re reconsideration. Considering the current difficulty in handling all the new territory, both west and east, this, of course, calls for the fear to take charge. The party has been having great difficulties with maintaining stability in certain parts of the Eastern Reich's Commissariat, and the internal politics of the party is getting more and more sectarian. <clears throat> This can be seen with the development of underground blocks in opposition to the policies of Adolf Hitler, with various local, various rival national socialist blocks seeking alternative approaches. The fear must decide, intervene, and try to maintain unity, or take a more relaxed approach and see how things develop. The party must be cleansed. Sounds like something Hitler would do. And the Nazi Constitution. Well, if you're worried about that, please go right ahead. Design flaws in the craft. Oh, we can't stop now. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, we can't stop now. Oh boy. More radicals? We love radicals. Does this help them out at all? I'm not sure what this does. It might just be a waste of political power, but we'll get, we're going to get quite a bit of it, so I'm not really too worried about it. So, 
Opal. Not bad, not bad, Mauser. Well, there's only one of those guys, so that kind of sucks. Rush safety test at Superior German Engineering. It will be fine. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Hmm. Get some engineers, too. Might as well. <coughs> Guess the Constitution. Mandatory membership. Probably good. Labor's wrong question. I won't do all this stuff, but obviously we can't. Well, maybe it's not obvious, but, like, we just cannot. Launch day. Matters of the old guard. The old guard has been there since the birth of the NSDAP. Regime and some of the formation of the party itself. They are respected and influential members of the party, but their views are outdated compared to the thousands of newer members. The old elites refuse to accept that they are fail falling from grace, resisting any form of change while Hitler expects these elements. They serve as a great barrier for any sorts of reforms to happen. Advisors to suggest that we should limit the influence of old members of the old guard, but it would be better if we kept things unchanged? The founders will stay. Yeah. Launch day. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. I'd rather cancel it. We don't want any issues, right? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Just cancel it. Just cancel it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Business as usual. Spy on the inner party. Mandatory membership. Matters of the youth. Eleven's realm. Long coughing. Callings. Coughings. The Fuhrer is fine. Reforms? I don't want to do reforms. <clears throat> They've been drowned. Uh, yeah, let's do the reforms next, maybe. Yeah, if you want to buy that, please go right ahead. Revolution in Bulgaria. All right, cool, cool, cool. I love that the Thousand Week Rack is a pretty quick-moving mod. It's pretty nice. Greek Civil War. All right, Greece, we're killing themselves. Good, good, good. Get some extraction. We'll save some of this. Uh, not that stuff. Air Doctrine, Battlefield Sport. Yeah. Yeah. Save Land Doctor for a little later. It's fine. Casablanca Catastrophe. Alright. Einstein visits Israel. And we got to fund some Hungarian rebels. Which I'm still not sure what that does, but... Oh, it does give you more national social support, so... Uh, oh. Oh, wow. Currently, the constitution which the regime lays upon is the old Weimar Constitution. While many of its terms have been bent to suit national socialism, the background is still peppered with idiotic ideas of freedom and democracy. Goring suggests the possibility of drafting a Nazi constitution forever uphold the teachings of national socialism with the potential benefit of forever enshrining the Fuhrer to Germany. However, after Bormann caught wind of these suggestions, he and his co many confidants urged the Fuhrer to reject any attempts by Goring, seeing that the words of the Fuhrer are already the foundation of the Germanic nation, and that any formal documentation is an attempt at paving the way for a future power grab, calling Goring out as a power grabbing drug addict. Bormann or Goring? So right now, Goring has significant influence, while Bormann has rising influence. They're both suspicious, so let's go with Bormann, because he has less, and I want that political power. I, we really need that political power. We don't really need it, but we can use it. I'm not going to use it on, though. And it matters to the youth. If you want to about that, please go ahead, just because I want to get the Hitler Junga with the SS as fast as possible, which won't happen, but whatever. Oh, and there's stuff over here, too, so. 52. Not bad. Not bad. They join the cords. All right. Real evidence. Lose stability, less damage garrisons. Improved relations doesn't really matter to me at all. To be honest, it, it really doesn't matter. Francisco Franco dies. No. Oh, well, goodbye. Yeah, we're going to work on me. That'd be great. But we cannot. <coughs> Aluruna. Cool. Um, motorized. Questions of reform. The German state has been in has been run in the same way without much reform for years. Some of the party are urging us to revisit the old systems, importing, improving laws, reforming power structures, and so on. However, the old guard and some close confidants around Hitler are opposed to the idea, leaving the decision entirely within the hands of the Führer himself. Other reforms? No. Germany is perfect. And will continue to be perfect. Bloody Tuesday in Italy, huh? Lufthansa announces expansion. Exciting. Yes. Awesome. 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 Oh, I'll go do it too. They renounce the right to war. All right. Oh, we actually have a little bit of fuel. Look at that. Nice. Death of Weizmann. Memorial Day of the Movement. Remember the beer hall? Yes. Yes. And the Leibniz Ron question. Mm. Tapped elected. All Yeah. 
it was good to be uh, ready for whatever happens over there, so. UN resolution fails, which happens every single time, which is fine, whatever. Who can give us our goodies? Oh, so you guys is fine. Health declines. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Who could have seen that one coming? Alright, so, like you see here, I've made sure that we have quite a few things. Um, quite a few, Are these bombers? Yeah, these are attack bombers, so. Yeah, we just want to make sure that we are ready to go whenever we do anything. And hopefully we don't have a civil war. But, you never know. Cool. Yeah, someone did say in the comment of uh, another campaign I was doing, <clears throat> that... It, honestly, if you really microed everything, you could come out like doing a lot better in terms of Air Force, but I just can't be bothered. I'm too lazy. And I should use uh, aces. Aces make an entire squadron better, so. Which is true, but I'm a little lazy sometimes. Love Mesa Schmidt. Not perfect yet, but this should do pretty darn well for us. Uh, there you go. Should be good enough. And a few more destroyers. Death of Vojiki, dude. Cool. The Lebensraum question. So if you're only about that, please go ahead. Free roaming Lebensraum. We will tear them where to go. Uh, actually, no, let me read this one. One of the central pillars of National Socialist Doctrine and what was one of the most primary motivations for Operation Barbarossa was the acquisition of Lebensraum. The conquest of all the lands until the Urals was envisioned by Hitler to involve two vital components, the destruction of the Slavic nations and the settling of the territory by german Hungarian farmers. The reality is that in the significant post-war economic malaise, the already unappealing territories in the East have yet to appeal to the Volksdeutsch demographics. This lack of colonists who have become a significant dilemma for those who sought out the ideological pursuit of colonization across the Reich. While Hitler regards the solution as being worthy of the German veterans, he proposes to extend the considerable resources and expansion of existing Verbauer settlement areas with additional centers for the new arrivals such as free KDF wagons. In addition to this, Himmler plans systematic targetings of those who are economically deprived and potentially most open for new life in the East. Hatred's critique of Himmler's program was vicious, regarding his exuberant waste of resources which, like all the variants of the existing policy, will result in economic stagnation and severe fiscal depletion. This is, in his eyes, could simply be solved through forced relocation of young veterans who can occupy the land, organized so the East can be stabilized as soon as possible. However, those within Germania suggested that Hatred's plan would cause potentially major internal dissent in the East, increase and decrease the instability of the Reichskommissariats, which would worsen the situation. Free roaming. Yes. I think that's the way we would like to go. And if you're wondering about the matters of the Eastern War, please go ahead. You never know when the those in the Far East will strike us back again. Which wouldn't be very good for us, of course. But, you know, whatever. We don't have negative political power. You have negative political power. Anyone can get better stuff? No? So, right, model. Charismatic wouldn't be too bad. We have probably some guys with upgrades. Heinz. You. Ostrofen Sots. We Ostrofen. <clears throat> Held in Danzig. As a conference between Germania and the Reichskommissariats, hosted by Albert Speer. This conference seeks to discuss Germanization, economic and military policies in these territories, and to decide on a final solution that can bring all these lands together to finish building Greta Germany. To Danzig we go. A grand speech. Uh, if you worry about that, please go right ahead, because that's Goebbels. Eh, I'll read it While the Fuhrer is not able to attend Ostreffen, the Minister of Propaganda, Joseph Goebbels, represented the Fuhrer and held a grand speech in his honor. Goebbels stated that the prosperity of the German people must be achieved through strong cooperation in the will of the frontier settlers, clarifying the role of the Reichskommissarts for the continued prosperity of the GGR, and unite all Aryan people in the world. What started the Ostreffen may truly show the glory of Germany to the world. Thank you, Dr. Goebbels. <clears throat> ah, reforms, huh? Oh, I forgot about this. Ooh. Wow, we lose a lot of that. Expand Adolf Hitler schools. Volkswagen over a million models. Nice. Ooh. While the Ostreffen seeks to discuss both military and in industry, under the director for the Führer, Alba Speer seeks to integrate both subjects into one. The conference verified the importance of the war economy into the Reichskommissariats and their part in securing the outskirts of Greater Germany, and how they play a continued significant role in the German military econo economy as a whole. Prospect. <clears throat> I think you're gonna get some more political power. 
Most of the industry was not bad. Military schools are pretty good too. Ooh, that's pretty nice too. Encouraging adventures. Okay, so actually this one gives us more political power, so we should wait. Germanization status. The main task of the Reichskommissariat is to Germanize the new lands. The Ostrafen urged all Reichskommissariats to speed up the Germanization and settlement projects and expand the Aryan race through Europa. After delegates made their statements, the Germanization efforts was reaffirmed and the Reichskommissariats promised to start joint operations on Germanization. For Deutschland. For, for Deutschland. Trading policies. The Reichskommissariats, <coughs> such as Ukraine, have rich resources that can supply the Aryan people. Germania. <coughs> And demands the Reichskommissariat extract and export extra resources to the Reich and fuel the German economic machine. The delegates from the Reichskommissariat have sworn their loyalty and promised Germania the resources will be put to good use for the Aryan race. Resources for the Reich, yes. And I apologize for my throat. Oh, boy. The Soviet border question. The border clashes with the Soviets have been dragging on for ages, and it's finally time to teach these Russians the German ways. Germans. <clears throat> And the Far Lands will no longer tolerate the Russian raids, and Germania must stand up for her people. As time to strike, launch, launching a border skirmish will make them reconsider the uh, choices in the future. Border victory, failure, send in the Waffen SS. <coughs> Just send the Einsatzgruppen. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to fail here. I do not want to fail here. So, you know what? Let's save. Because it is 1953 already, which is pretty nice. Not going to lie, it's 53 already. So, um. Maybe those are the wrong ones to send, but whatever. Business as usual, of course, what is the next one do? Uh, all stuff ends. After a few weeks of the Grand Conference, it's finally come to end. Abba Speer thanked the Reichskommissariat representatives in the name of Germany for their attendance and dedication to the future of the German people. After a feast between German officials and the Reichskommissariat, sorry, yeah, delegates in the Danzig Hall, the delegates were sent home and the Ostreffen has come to an end. Resources for the Reich. Austin Adventures. That sounds like a lot of fun. Two and a half, two point, two and a half. Zero eight political power every single day is super nice. Wow. The Aust census. Get more stability. Let's go and do this one. If you like to read about area and education reforms, please go right ahead. Oh, tapped. Defeat on the border. What the heck? What? Um, you know what? Let me see if I can go and redo that one. Oh wait. Yeah, let's go see if we can redo that one, but reforms, go on, children, go on. The Civil War is over. After a constant struggle for power, thousands of Germans lost their lives to grand battles while the fighting has stopped. There's no doubt that Germany must focus on recovering from her scars in the upcoming years. Those Germans' lives died for the Schutzstaffel's cause, and they must be avenged with progression and a better future for their descendants. Uh, currently, the Schutzstaffel forces are busy disarming the government and the Heer remnants, while the military police is busy with securing high-ranking officials from the different factions. They're storing order in Germany. It's going to be a complicated task, but it must be done to preserve the Reich's future. Pretty much. Peace at last. And we'll do shoots off a victory, which activates our tree. So the GGR is back. And we are not better than ever, but do well. I guess we'll do that one because we can. Actually, should do that one, but that's okay. Faith and Himmler. Everyone knew about that. So I guess Herr Himmler is just a man of unparalleled division, of vision and integrity. He's just a sort of leader that Aryan people deserve at a time when the Reich is in the dire need of reform, the great leader. The citizens of the Reich need to understand that the age of Hitler is over. He worked hard to make his vision of an Aryan world a reality, but he was stifled by his craven lackeys now. That Bowman and other would-be Führers are out of the picture. Our great leader can finally make Hitler's dream a reality. And we have a few more divisions. Very weird, but okay, whatever. Uh, send... Actually, you're all infantry, so there you go. That kind of sucks, but whatever. But yeah, I totally didn't use Kant's commands to help us win the uh, war here early on. Totally did not. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what we can do. I'm gonna go to war with some of the other people. The Babelsberg Conference? What? A meeting? Uh, this better deactivate. I swear to God. I'm not gonna lose Himmler. Yeah. I don't know. This is a German Civil War. It's okay. It's not great. It's really okay. Um, just sometimes some things gonna bug. And basically, trying to do this legitly is nearly impossible. So. Holy crap. We don't get power. An invitation. Oh my god. Please don't do this. Attend the meeting. As removed from power during the meeting, it would be treated as legitimate. Uh, I think we need to attend the meeting. This shouldn't be firing. I mean, come on. We won the Civil War. Ah, oh, it's so stupid. Uh, let's see, direct command. The Reich's long-standing faction was nearly spelt its doom when the Hitler expired. Our great leader will ensure the mistakes of the past aren't repeated. From here on out, he will be the sole ruler of the Reich. All power will be consolidated in his person, and every branch of the state will be loyal to him. Believe in hate, Josh. Jesse Blinds. Babelsberg Plot. What? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Are you kidding me? 
Um, I don't get cooed by Josias as well, but we'll see what happens. I also detect Germania. Perform the faction. What is this? With the civil war over, it's not time for Germany to claim her hegemony. Nice. Ah, okay. Whew. Thank God. Oh my God. The heated debate ended as a simple conclusion. Heinrich Himmler will remain as Reichsführer SS, while the Wabelsberg conspirators are not punished. Uh, this false move will certainly kill any chances of a significant political career within the Himmler regime. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. I don't want to deal with that. I really don't want to deal with that, man. Now we have, like, no Navy, right? Yeah, no Navy, no Air Force. Oh my goodness, it's not good. No Naval XP either, which sucks. Mm, the Great Leader, which we do become a dictator, which gives us a lot more political power to work with, because right now we've got, like, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Hermann Rahl, Adolf, Adolf Schneider, Otto Hafner. Alright, the Great Leader. And direct command, because why not? A little ahead of time, but you know what? Look at that one. Military coup and perm? Or turn to normalcy? Oh. Kuznetsov. Zigarev. Cool. So, believe in Hadrish. Hmm. Kingdom Montenegro refounded. You know what? Like I normally do, let's go save just because I know we could get cooed. And I don't want to get cooed. But then again, I don't want Hadrish here either. Like, I did one round with Hadrish with, like, literally no influence from, like, other groups, so we'll see what happens. And we have SS divisions here too. We have a lot of army XP, which sucks, but whatever. Jealousy blinds. The Count of Schwabelbenest. Um, Schusteffel's playground, of course. That's that's the other guy. Josiah's his coup. National Socialism revert to Himmler's actions. Germany's new leader. Hmm. Total ban on books. The research slot, research slot would be very nice. Huh. May lead to severe consequences. Hmm. Interesting. Happy 40, 54, though, everybody. You know what? I think I want to go... As much as I love Hadrish, I think... We're going to go with Jealousy Blinds. Hadrish was too ambitious for his own good. For all of his intelligence, he failed to understand that he, like all Germans, had to stay on the new fear's good side. The Gestapo agency once commanded or sent to discuss his mixed loyalties with him in greater detail. No, I don't want to get rid of you, Hadrish, but it must be done. No. Oh, we'll see what happens. Construct a chemical factory. Eh. Uh, we could probably better spend our PP somewhere else. It's. Ooh. So we get Reichswehr SS, but we also get Dictator. So they just cancel out. We'll probably get Oswald Pohl. He hurts us a little bit, but gets way more political power. So I should have done that one earlier, but whatever. Actually, how much political power do we need for that? 150 is a corrupt club to crap, but we literally have no one else to choose from, so. Yeah, our military is so tiny. Polish democracy restored? Well, we'll see about that. Especially with this much armor we're going to push out. Um, Yeah, I don't care about that type of division. Fair troops don't use them. Marines we might want to keep, maybe. Uh, we use medium tanks here? Yeah, no. SP artillery, medium tanks, light tanks. Where are modern tanks? Ah, main battle tanks, I should say. And again, you're only 12 combat with, so. SP artillery, 6. That's not great, not gonna lie. We're gonna do that for now. Post war suspension improvements. Uh, wait, do we already have a military coup in perm? Let's get more base. Even though we get more oppo with this one. Uh, go mass production. Screw it. We'll go. Nah, I'll go this one. I said we'd go this way, so. Okay then. Counting our losses. Supervise all Germans. The people of Germany owe a great deal to the new Fuhrer. He is a part of their, all their lives, whether they realize it or not. And in time, they'll have to accept this fact, despite whatever concerns they may have over our personal privacy. Reinhard Hedrich assassinated. News comes from Gotland that Reinhard Hedrich has been assassinated by an unknown assailant in his private estate. The man who had many assumed to be likely successor to the Reichswehr SS was reported, reported by German authorities to have been assaulted and killed after a private dinner party. Details are sparse, but it's generally assumed that after a lengthy dinner party, an unknown assailant uh, entered the estate and surprised him in his chamber. The crime went undetected until the following morning, the assailant having escaped soundlessly into the night. Rumors are already spreading of the nature of the crime, for how could one infiltrate the stronghold of one of the most powerful men in the Reich? Even some speculate that Heinrich Himmler might be involved. What an odd case. But now we have a pretty cool dude. Adolf Eichmann. Cool. The Angolan War. Absolute loyalty. Members of Crimea. 
Second interparty government. Nice. Very good, very good. And we'll try to go over here, but like I said earlier, we're going to get this guy next. Supervise all Germans. Central Area and Registry. Get a lot more political power. We lose organization, more stability, and get, lose some output. I think that would be good, especially for political power. We need to know the names of every man, woman, and child in our proud Aryan Empire. As such, we should start a centralized government registry that contains personal information, such as genetic makeup and ancestry. Some of the most important parts to know about your people. Uh, economic stagnation. Oh, we saw that. Actually, when do we get rid of that? Do we, can we ever get rid of that? Oh. A nation of fear. Fear is our strongest weapon. We love fear. We love it. Do we have any planes? Well, I guess we have a few planes. Not bad. Could be better, though. Duplicate. Takahitos usurps the throne. Alright, well, good luck with that. Junker, tack bombers. Um, I want the cast. North Sea Naval exercises? Well, I mean, the war's over, so. I hope to God that they don't uh, go to war with us, but still. A nation of fear. <laughs> the people of the Reich are afraid. They have good reason to be, though. Threats to the National Socialist dream lurk around every corner. The Great Leader will protect them from each other and their own malignant thoughts. Great, great, great. You know, since we're here, too, anyways, get some attack bombers. We might actually get them. Once we run out of things to research, we might just use them generally. So, totally fine with me. Totally, totally fine. I wish we had some military factories, though. Or some something some cities use. Now, fighting the USSR is going to be nearly impossible. When I play as Hadrish, I think I struggled a whole lot with him. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see how well we do. There's no guarantee that we'll do great. But, you know, we'll try our best. We'll give it the good old Rambler try. Good God, we need more factories and such. Fighters and stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, guns are looking at relatively okay. As you can order this, probably by one more. There we go. So now we're one, a little over one a day. Not too bad. Chemical protections, very cool. Very cool. I'm not sure construction speed. Might as well at this point. Nothing there yet, which sucks. And there goes Angola. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I'd rather support the National Republic here, but... In the end, I'm not going to help either side. Let, let the communists kill each other and the fascists kill each other. Stepan Bandera. Good luck. We're, we're, going, we're gunning for the Poles. Oh, uh, nation of fear. Well, they should fear us. Oh, the great power. Wait, this is the natural spirit of the great power struggle. Huh. At what cost? Wait, that's currently not the country leader. Introduce the SS Kampfgruppe. So we have the great power struggle still? Huh. There's not much we can do. Is that supposed to still be here? Well, we'll see, I guess. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is. We'll see. And if it isn't supposed to be here, well, then we're kind of screwed. But, such listening stations. Ooh, oh, okay, no, it does remove here. Nice, okay, so, destroying factionalism. The factionalism that tore the Reich apart can't be allowed to fester any longer. We're building a better nation, one where petty grievances and personal agendas don't interfere with the interests of the Aryan people. Nice. Still nothing here, which sucks. Oh, invest in closed circuit TV? Oh, Mr. Handsome. Heinrich Himmler is a man that holds many grand ambitions. Ambitions that some describe as unadulterated insanity, but Germany has learned to ignore these naysayers and gratefully accepted Himmler's benevolent goals, regardless. Heinrich Himmler is now the most powerful individual in the world and with ultimate power. It meant that all of Germany's state resources can now be diverted to any pet projects he desires, from fulfilling his fantastical beliefs to ushering Germany to a new page in autocratic terror. You call it autocratic terror. I call it being correct. And reading out the Reich's Commissariats. Yes, please. Nice. Uh, Land Doctor, we are going to go down with combined operations. The other one, the middle one get, is good, really good for manpower, actually. Like, it gives you a lot of manpower. Like, holy crap. Like, regardless of which way you go, strategic critique, 2% more. Um, so actually, it's not too bad either. Uh, max entrenchment's not bad. 4% over here, which is really, we already have almost 13 million. And then you get 4% more here. So, this is a whole, 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 whole lot of manpower. And you can get another 2% right, 3% right there, actually. So I'm like, eh, it's okay. And I always choose strategic theorem, so I'm like, let's do something different. You know, let's do something different. Confiscation of wealth. When removed, we get more resources. Actually, we could probably really use that stuff, so... You know what? What's good for the nation is good for us. Nice. 
Yeah, destroying factions is going to be important. And then... Thought Crimes? That's the question Devotion. There's only one Fuhrer. You have no other Fuhrers before me. Now that Hitler is dead, he is only one rightful successor in this world. Anyone who thinks otherwise is holding both of the Fuhrers in contempt. Invest in closed-circuit TVs? Might as well, since we got it. Uh-oh, CCTV in major cities. Stability and resistance activity goes down? Nice. Ah, nice Creed. You are uh, experiencing psychosis. For a reason that Reinhard Himmler, uh, Heinrich Himmler is investigating. Hallucinati hallucinatings or hallucinations have increased in size and prominence in Germany for the past several months. Whatever you think to be reality, it is wrong. The only truth, the only reality is what Heinrich Himmler say it is. You all little so much more that your mind is incapable of comprehending the universe, the world, or even the nation. Those who wish to destroy Germany are trying to penetrate Heinrich Himmler's defenses and control you. Heinrich Himmler is the only being that wants the best for you. He does not want to exploit you, but to protect you, he necessitates your faith. You will give your faith to Heinrich Himmler. The Schutzstaffel has always been unitary. The Schutzstaffel has always been. Heinrich Himmler is the Schutzstaffel. Because Heinrich Himmler is the Schutzstaffel, it presents no threats and will never will. No Aryan will betray Heinrich Himmler, no else they are not Aryan. Yes. Yes. Aryan culture movements? I like that one. A ban on books. Um, how about central listening stations? Our top intelligence officers have proposed that we establish a central depot in every major city from which our agents, our agencies, can tap into phone lines. This has been made possible with the ingenious new technology of the post-war era, in which we do need to do the economy as well. So, but I love these central intelligence agencies and stuff like that. Oh, I love them so much. Ooh, restore order to the Netherlands. Ooh, oh yes. Oh, we just straight up annex them. Oh, thanks, guys. Do we get cores? Oh, do we get cores on them? Oh, we get cores on them. That's so good. Ah, yes. And a lot more rebuilding has to be done. Oh, I love that we got more factories and stuff like that. Oh, so nice. All right, so all that stuff is pretty much done. 60, 60. Good, 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 good. Drop tanks. Might as well. Right. Might as well. Happy 1955, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. We get more political power. Um, Reintegrate Bohemia. Oh, that would probably be a very, very good thing to do. Crush a lot of people. Starting the Oldenstaats. Banat and Gotenland. Sorry, Reinhard, uh, Heydrich. I love seeing you so much, but not this time. Maybe next time, maybe next time. You know, that construction too? Very good, very good. Oopsie, that's a way too ahead of time. Whoops, my bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one's dead. And then we'll do this one too. Nice. All right, let's start off at least going to war with somebody here. Annex these guys. You, me, and a bunch of poles. What could be better than this? And then, what we're going to do is the SS economy. Oh, there's nothing here. Well, that sucks. And ideological enemy. Oh, we should do shoot stuff supervisions. Yeah, we'll probably do both those off screen. But let's at least have a good old time with the polls. Because you, me, you, we all know historically that Germany loved Poland. Love, love, loved Poland so much. Oh, whoops. I clicked on war goal. Whatever will this do? Oh, we can't go to war with them yet. Oh, we, we gotta wait. Oh man, we have to wait. It's only two weeks, it's not bad. When I wanna go to war, I wanna go to war now. Anyone have upgrades actually? Bahalza? Be charismatic. Let's be a little happy. Nice. Except Dietrich, Joachim Piper. Pretty cool dudes. CCTV in major cities. Oh, we get more stability and less resistance activity chance. Actually, since we're here anyways, what is occupation policies like? Um, I'd rather use cavalry brigades. Yeah, that's better to use. Because we have these guys. But we also have these guys. Cavalry brigades, in which we can probably remove that. But that's right. Recent faction purge. Good, 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 good. Not bad, not bad. Oh, boy. And I do want to reintegrate Bohemia as well. So, you, me, and a lot of dead poles. German integration program? Sorry, that's not going to survive for very long now, is it? Ah, the fall of Warsaw once again. 3,000 have been lost, but that's not enough. Since we're right here, thought crimes. Often well, as political divisions. Eh, well, wait. Let's go do the economy first. Let's finish this stuff up first, and then we'll go to the next one. Because they do want to integrate some other, uh, some, uh, bohemians. Some bohemian boys. Because we like boys? Hmm, I don't know if we can say that. Uh. 
Ah, the poles have fallen. Who would have thought that the poles would have fallen once more? Yeah, the polar backs, you know. Um, let's see. Can we get... Invade Norway? Yes. We get that eventually, which is good. And close out of this one for now, too. What can we do about Poland? Can we... Ooh, Aryan Science. Confiscation of Wealth. 24-7 Surveillance? Oh, I like that, too. Um, is there any way to... Ooh, yes. We'll probably go ahead and start doing some other stuff, like crushing some of these guys eventually, off-screen, maybe. But, is there any way for me to get... Well, maybe we're just going to directly annex them. Which would be great. And since we're here anyways. Uh, cavalry brigades. Here, remove that. You don't need that. Save some equipment and stuff like that. So, I think that's probably where we're going to leave it for here for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when Reinhard Daddy Hadrich is dead. And Heinrich Daddy Himmler is leading the GGR into a new era. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.